Hello, Louisiana Cognac Reviews. <laughs> Here we are. We're not doing beer right now, although you asked if we're going to do one we make. But today we're looking at the Hennessy Black. I bought this months ago. Mm -hmm. It was introduced in 2009. Um, <clears throat> it's a 86 proof. I thought it was 80 proof, but it's 86 proof. 43% alcohol, so a little bit higher alcohol than the regular one. Mm -hmm. It says distinctly smooth. Um, <clears throat> It's a newer like me. <laughs> it's it's a newer version. Um, the one you see everywhere, and you're probably familiar with the one with the the uh, beige label with all the mm -hmm. grape leaves around it. The Hennessy VS. Very popular. That everyone drinks. Uh, I was at the international market. You know what I'm talking about in Metairie. One of my. On on Barron Street, and they stuff. had this gift pack, mm -hmm. and they had these three bottles, three seventy five milliliter, and they were much cheaper than normal. Really. Yeah, because a lot of stores, this would be about $30 a bottle. Wow. Or 35 Okay. The VS would be about 25 a bottle, mm -hmm. and the Hennessy Privilege may be 30 28 mm -hmm. to $30. But they were much cheaper per bottle, which I found strange, but I didn't ask questions. I bought it. Okay, and um, the gift pack had this little book in it, which describes the three mm -hmm. brand, cognac brandies. And you see the original Hennessy. The iconic one that everybody mm -hmm. gets, and then the black, and then the VSOP, the privilege, mm -hmm. which is a higher grade, I think, than even the black. We'll do the pri maybe we can look at the privilege next month. I have that in the yeah. cabinet. Yeah, this is a nice little bottle. <clears throat> now, I wrote some notes <clears throat> on this paper here. It says, uh, here, you can start reading the notes while I try to straighten this little booklet out. I'm can here. I? Uh, Hennessy Black, 40%. Smooth. And actually 43%. That was wrong. Intense. <laughs> mm, some word. Fresh grapes. Jasmine. Honey. 2009. Old oak barrels. Silvered white flowers. Oh, yeah. Bronze okay. at 2013. Oh, yeah. I'll see what happened. Um, <laughs> intense citrus, fresh grapes. Oh, citrus. I um, yeah. And then they, on, in the booklet, it said also white flowers. Oh, so I added that. Okay. And what these notes here was it won a bronze medal in 2013, it won a silver medal <laughs> okay. in 20, 2010, and it won a gold medal at the 2012. And this was all at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. Okay. okay. So it's won three medals bronze, silver, and gold. Okay. okay. And I have these little... Oh, these little baby glasses. Little tasting glasses. I got this in the Le Vend de Vendôme French Brandy gift pack. Mm. So I thought, nice little glasses. Very cute. Okay, so I've never had this before. There is one other video review for this brandy, cognac brandy, on the internet, on YouTube, but it's from six years ago. Mm. And it wasn't too detailed. The guy just was saying, he was just saying, oh, it's kind of sweet, it's kind of sweet. And I think it'd be used better as a mixer, but it wasn't too detailed. And then there was one other video where the guy made three shot glasses and he was trying to drink them real fast and he drank the one and he said, oh, it's so strong, he started spitting everywhere and he shut the video off and I said, oh, that's not oh, really... Oh, so that's not what we're going to do? No. Mm. Cork. Cute. Mm. Oh. Okay. Oh. Ooh. All right, so um, there's about 10 different... If you look at their website, there's about 10 different varieties from Hennessy Moet. Monet company, okay? That smells so good, y'all. There's about 10 different varieties. And these are the lower end ones, actually. You might find this in bars. But they have one like the Richard Hennessy that maybe is $100 a bottle. I don't know if I've ever but, had Hennessy, to be honest. I don't... But you're familiar with it. Yeah, I've seen it. I've heard people, you know, sing about it. I don't think I've ever... Oh my god, this smells so good. Okay. Oh. So, uh, but like I oh, said, like a candle, and a Hennessy scented candle. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of varieties of this, uh, and do you know why they call this brandy cognac, why? as opposed to just brandy? Why? Because it, it comes from a region of France called cognac. Cognac. France. I I used to always think cognac was a kind of wine. No, it's. A, I'd always read about it in books like, and then he poured a glass of cognac, you know. But okay, now give me that. No, uh, well, it's made from grapes. Because brandy is made from distilled grapes, so it's related to wine. Um, oh my gosh. But 
if it comes from Cognac France, it can be called Cognac. And they use a little bit different distillation process than regular brandy. But it is a type of brandy, in case you didn't know that. So, okay, so let's look at the appearance mm -hmm. first. What is that color? Honey. Yeah, honey color. Honey. Like clover honey. And look at the alcohol mm -hmm. legs all around it. Mm. So it's super clear honey. And it's gotten very sunny today. It was so cloudy this morning. Now the aroma. <sighs> well, that's a strong alcohol, so... Mm -hmm. It smells sweet, and the, the cap was... The cork was sweeter, but there's almost like... <clears throat> I can I kind of get the citrus, but almost like maybe I was thinking about cherries earlier. But something that reminds me of like fruit skin. Let me go back to the notes um, just to see if. That's but I guess it's cheating in a way because we're, we're being influenced. Well, but. don't look at the notes yet. Say what do you smell. <sighs> I smell citrus. I smell there is a floral kind of jasmine smell. If you've ever smelled jasmine, maybe from a candle or a bath wash, there is a kind of jasmine smell. Yeah, you um, know, you get those dried flowers you can buy. Yeah. It kind of smells like that. Yeah, it has a it, it has a perfume like it smells like jasmine or grape skins. That's what I said, like a fruit skin, and it, there's a tart kind of smell. It's too bad you didn't get to try the first. I think I might be confusing myself with the cork because the cork had almost like a cherry kind of mm. smell. It's too bad you didn't get to try the um, Hennessy VS. You know the first grade that uh, I did yeah. last month or two ago. The very smooth, uh, or they say on the bottle, very special. VS can mean very smooth or very special. What kind of citrus do you think? I would say like orange skin, or you know how if you break the orange skin, it makes mm -hmm. that little juice fly mm -hmm. out? The rind. From the rind. Yeah. Yeah, the like orange, an orange rind. blossom. And then a little of the pith. The pith, yeah. Could be satsumas, though. It took me a while to figure out what that word was. I was like, what is the word for the orange? the white stuff stuff. The pith. Um, I love when we have words for things like that. It's a full nose. I mean, it's not, <laughs> it doesn't smell cheap. Better not. As for what I paid, it better not smell cheap. There is something that makes me, that makes me think of berries. I don't know what it is. Maybe there's just like a sweetness there. Oh. <clears throat> okay, now, hold on a minute. Let's see how this compares to this VS here that I have. How are y'all doing? Are y'all having a good Thanksgiving? Here's this um, Christian Brothers VS that you didn't okay. get to try. Okay. It's a it's a much it's this big bottle is cheaper than that small bottle. I feel like I need to smell some espresso beans. <laughs> That's sugary. This smells like like brown sugar hmm. mixed in. Oh yeah, compared to that, it's like you see what I mean. Whereas this is like when I drank this sweet. on its own, when I had this on its own, and I had no comparison, it was different. It didn't smell the same. Now it smells like that. Um, what's that syrup called that you put on the break the pancakes? It's called maple um, syrup. No, it's like maple, but it's the um, it's not real maple. It's called country kitchen. It smells like country kitchen syrup. Yeah, it straight up smells like syrup. And then that, mm. this is a, a, such is a complicated bizarre. smell. That is so bizarre. And I can smell the brightness of the jasmine for sure. That is really bizarre. Oh okay. man, oh my gosh, I would love it. Okay, well, let's try the taste because you may not enjoy the flavor. Not. Oh, and they have suggest a mixer here. They're saying, um, Hennessy Black Twist. Preparation. Listen to this. This is very simple. Pour over ice in a rocks glass and garnish with an orange twist. But then on the website, they have about 10 other mixers you can make with this. So what do you think about the flavor? Is it pretty good? It's so strong. I took the smallest sip and it's like my mouth is on yeah, a journey. Yeah, now you see why the guy almost passed Died. out. Died. Yeah, I can't imagine. I took the smallest sip and I guess it's like my mouth is on a journey. Like I'm still tasting it. Like it's like seared into my tongue. It's actually a comical video to see his expression after he realized he had made a terrible mistake. <laughs> and he had three shot glasses. I'm like, for real, I don't think you're going to drink all three of them. He threw up. Or he just spit it up. He was just going like, pss, pss. 
And he said, uh, shut burns. it off. He told the no, person, shut that it would off. hurt my mouth and my throat so bad. Oh my gosh. Um, <clears throat> well, I think the little bit we poured is about all you'd be able to take in a day. I might have to take this to go. But um, oh. it's rich. It's like the dried fruit. You know the dried fruit you might use? Yeah. This and some... Oh, mint. Menthol of some sort, perhaps. I think you might be tasting the jasmine. Have you tasted jasmine before? No. I think... I don't taste mint. I think the menthol, there's just an alcohol burn. But I definitely taste the jasmine. I will bring you some jasmine tea next time I have a right. box. Um, um, oh, you mean like the, um, like the Bigelow... Or, um, I have a brand Celestial. that I got. Oh. It's tea. I, well, they might have jasmine tea. I got it from the international market, actually. A big old box yeah. of like Chinese like, I was thinking, jasmine like tea. Celestial Seasonings or Bigelow, which they, is common. They might have or jasmine. Tet, what's that other one? Tetley's. Well, no. Tetley's is a... No, not Tetley's. That black, like, British tea. Uh, Tezo? Whatever. They have it at the store, jasmine. All right. Now, um... Had that lip balm. Um, you like orange blossom, but the jasmine is so sweet, and it really rounds it off. I would love to mix it. Oh gosh! Now we did the um, we did the Albertsons brandy, you know that store brand, and we did the uh, E and J V. This is VS. not even in the same category. This would taste good mixed with, yeah, like uh, some orange twist or like um, like a honeysuckle, or an elder like an elderflower. So you think it's something? You think it's worth buying, or like it's something that you would give a gift? For like to a special for? occasion? Yeah, for sure. I don't even know how I'm gonna get through this. Like, and I with like this is. Is there anything like any negatives associated drink, with it? I can drink whiskey pretty quick. Um, as like. This is heavier body than whiskey. It burn <laughs> like it burns. You know, to drink it, I think a negative. There's almost, the more I'm drinking it, there's almost like, um, the bite in the back of my mouth is almost like salty, almost. Are you, not salty, but it's like... No. It's not the smoothest thing I've ever had, but it, I like the sharpness of it. It's like, it does I'm really here, burn. it's like, I'm here, and you ain't, you gotta contend with me, you know? Aggressive, Don Draper. Yeah, I, I think... You would definitely, you need to drink this slow. And I think it's almost, it almost like hurts to drink because it is so strong. So, you know, I would definitely need to, I would, I would cut this with something, with some ice at least. Um, I think it could be good to make mixed drinks with like a little. Yeah, on, on the website there's a whole bit. bunch of different mix, mix ideas. So um, they just gave one there, the ice, the ice, on ice with, uh, you know, the lemon twist, uh, orange twist. But, um. No, I definitely want, would want, I need ice, yeah. So, would you recommend this? Yeah. Yeah, if you were, if you wanted to spend the money, um, I think this would be a good gift. Uh, especially if you, if you really are rolling in it, you know, a gift, get a bottle of this and then get some, the like, some bitters or some liqueurs, you know, like some actual, like, mixing ingredients. So if you're short on cash and you're slumming it, you get the Albertsons brandy for six ninety nine. I think mine was I feel like even if you're short on money, you could bottle. Or you can spend twelve dollars on something. Okay. Jameson is like nineteen ninety nine. Well, no, that's whiskey. I'm thinking. I don't know as much about brandy. Well, the common brandies are E and J, V S, Paul Masson, and Christian Brothers. Those are your three. And then they have Corbell, which is a little higher grade. And then they have some really gutter, living under the bridge, alcoholic brandy like Hartley's that they sell. That's Am I, yeah, the aftertaste right now? Nightmarish. Believe me, you want to try like a nightmarish brandy, get the Hartley VS. But believe me, every store sells it so people buy it because it's There's a really people sweet cheap, people are cheap. aftertaste. And it does make me think of like grapes or like grape skin. That's what they said, the um, fresh grapes. I don't know about fresh, but... Mm. I think it is complex. Um, I'm going to drink the whole bottle, but it's going to take weeks and weeks. <laughs> Months. You know, I'm not going to... Um, Save it for special occasions. I'll just like all this brandy you got in the house right now. Save it for special occasions. Yeah, I will. Like make get up. Mix some. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got up today. No, but you make, know what I mean. Like drink. um, I just what I do is people say, "Oh, it's so terrible." Watching these videos, he's such a drunk, drunk. But what I do is it's like um, every day if you're taking like two ounces of all these, 
you know, in month, you know, a month or two, this all it's all gone, you know. So then you start over. It's just a little bit, like you know, just a little bit. You're looking at me like you think I'm lying. Like, no, I'm I don't cheating. think you're lying. I just think it's funny that you're sitting here having to defend, like, I'm not an alcoholic guy, I promise. You don't know my life. You might have no, but, to um, start putting a hotline number in. Oh, yeah, like my grand, like your grandfather tells me, ah, yeah, I'm going to send you to rehab. And I said, no, I'm going to go to refill. You can play, <laughs> you can play Amy Winehouse's song as the oh, outro yeah. music. Yeah, I like that song. Hey, rehab. but um, anyway. Yeah, she's very... Talented, poor one, poor that was a real like extreme example tragedy. of tragedy. Um, bad lifestyle choices. Um, I'm not trying to make light of addiction. If you have a problem, oh yeah, it's, that is. Not you should funny. not be ashamed of yourself. There's, you know. I did hope. not make fun of Amy Winehouse when all that was going on. I felt bad for her. I was like, it was making me so angry. I was like, yeah. why are people making fun of this lady? You know, I felt no, really bad. people make like fun 20 of years old. people with addiction. Really? People make fun of mental health problems all the time, and it's gross. Don't do that. It's not acceptable. Um, but yeah, she was incredibly talented and it was very sad. Anyway, getting off of the bad news of the world. Sorry. Uh, so, um, and you brought it up. Hey, um, <laughs> sorry. So the final analysis, I really like it. Uh, I can't say it's better than the very special, the VS, which was, a, uh, it was just different. It was different. I, I don't know if it's better. It's different. This is different. I like it. I'm really geared up. I'm so chomping at the bit to try the VSOP, the privilege. But it's in the cabinet, and every time I look in the cabinet, it's going to say, I'm here. And I'm going to be like, i got to wait. You know, How so long are you waiting? You're letting it age? I was going to say till around Christmas time. No, I'm not letting it age. You know, I'm just waiting. Oh, yeah, save it for chance. Christmas. Yeah. yeah, that's good. So I'm going to say highly recommend it. I don't know what your position is. Yeah, no, is. I would agree. I would agree. Um, I mean, I'm glad I got to try it, and I'm going to get to keep trying look it. Look at this. It's still on the glass. Like, oh, yeah. Like I mean, syrup. Look at that. Oh, it's something else. Okay, so... Thank you for watching this video production, and uh, if you see it, buy it. But I don't think you're going to get the three three of them in a gift pack for the price I paid. You really go to do International not. Market in Metairie. They probably still have some there in Metairie. They had a huge amount. It's like boxes They also and boxes. have a lot of bulk tea and incense and a lot of good British chocolate. And Indian Including beer. my favorite, one of my favorite sodas, a Scottish soda called Iron Brew. Beer from India like Taj Mahal and Flying Horse Lager, and they have beer from Africa like Tusker. Mm -hmm. from Kenya. All right, well, anyway, enough uh, running on. Thank you for watching this video production. No outro? You take care. Slogan? You take care, like Stuart Picard says. And y'all come on down to... Oh, we got... I, I usually do that in my beer reviews. Is it still here? Oh, y'all well, come, need... yeah, come okay. on down to... In the oh, comments, um, post suggestions for what his outro slogan could be for the boozy reviews. Nah, I don't want to be too trite. Y'all... A pedant. Yeah. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Love each other. I'll bring a poem to read next time. That can be the outro. Excellent. Excellent.